What's up guys? Welcome to episode 14. <laughs> Welcome to episode 14 of The Build. This week we are tackling a security lock and we are tackling our continuation of framing floors. Oh, this is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking I don't wanna go. This is everything with you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking I don't wanna go. Okay, so uh, today we are going to try to install a lock on our emergency door. I should have locked the gates I should have thrown away the key Then I'd be fine with this All right guys, we are back at it today. Scott and I have had the flu for the past like week and a half, two weeks. And so anyways, we are super excited to be healthy and strong enough and recouped enough to get back to working on Honey. Last week and we had to take the weekend off, but you guys didn't know that because we had enough content from the previous week to make two videos. Woo, that's winning right there. So anyways, we are super excited to be feeling more like ourselves, be out of the house and next to our future house. Okay, so, um Ideally, what we was going to do is this was hoping to fit underneath this, uh, but obviously it won't. And so we're actually going to use this piece. Um, like I so said, this is for like normally for a normal door, but we're going to attach this onto I'm here. I'm trying to say this isn't a normal door. This is not a normal <laughs> door. Like so. And so basically this will now like swing up when we attach it, and this will drop into place like so. So then we can lock the door. Um, I don't think this is going to be our permanent solution, but we just want as we start to do more stuff on the bus to be able to actually lock it up uh, so then we can avoid anybody wanting to mess with it. Feel free to run me down. So there's the dogs. <laughs> and there's the bus. Okay, so we needed to run to the store. I forgot the camera though. And um, we got some new, what did we get? Nuts and, nuts and bolts. We got some nuts and bolts um, that should work better for drilling into metal. Metal a la metal. So, here we go. Now, this. <sighs> oh, fun. <laughs> Scott just realized he put it on the opposite direction that he was wanting to put it on. That's what happens when I go inside for a snack break. <laughs> so we're using the little design that they gave us in the kit to um, be able to make sure that we drill the holes in the right part. Even if we wait the day, you're causing all the troubles happened oh my gosh so we've been working hard on getting the lock screwed in Scott's been working hard he's been working really hard to get that happening he just ran to the store though to get a few more of the metal screws that we need and I'm gonna work on painting the finishing coats for the driver's seat floor area right there let's get it
finna give up. Yep. Yay! This is so exciting. Okay, tell us what happened today. <laughs> okay, so we got a uh, lock installed. Um, and so basically now from the outside we can lock this door. So it was a, it's, because it's not made for um, a school bus door, uh, you have to do a lot of like tweaking and obviously all the screws that it comes with are for wood screws and so uh, we had to go and get all different screws and stuff. And then um, obviously it's not intended um, to come down like this, it's supposed to just like lock and your door would open. Um, and so this part's a little finicky, we kind of have to um, adjust it so it, it fell in place okay um but yeah i mean it locks so it achieves what we set out to do <laughs> we're happy about that and it's not long term permanent but it works for now so high five very good got yellow fingers from painting <laughs> but yeah just like anything on a bus it's always harder than what you imagine <laughs> and i uh, just i mean i think we went to home depot and lowe's like three times today so <laughs> before we finally got it figured out <laughs> feeling good about that Hey guys, uh, so it's the next day and yesterday we installed a security lock on the back um, emergency door which is basically our side door. Um, the reason why we did that is just as we start to build out the bus more and the more stuff we have in here we just want to have added security. Um, all this time uh, that door's just had a, a triple arm on it um, but it hasn't been able to be locked. Um, and so now that we're starting to build it out we just wanted to have that extra security. And so now we have that. We have a key that we're able to, to lock the door with. And, and it's a so, pretty legit lock, like the way it closes and yeah, it's legit. Yeah, and so uh, we're super excited to have that. And we also just want to give a shout out to Meredith and Paco. I watched a video of them installing this very lock and so I actually ordered this lock um, after seeing their video. And so I watched that video of how to install it and so thanks guys. Thank and you Gus GPS. That's right. You guys uh, are awesome. Yeah, and so uh, go check those guys out. They're awesome. They have a fantastic YouTube channel too. Uh, kind of doing the exact same thing that we're doing. So check them out. <laughs> All right, so for today's projects, I'm gonna finish um, painting the driver's seat area with the final finishing coat, and then we're gonna work on framing this back uh, bus seat area and the steps in the front of the bus. So then we'll have all the framing pieces out and ready to go. As long as the weather stays good, we can hopefully finish this today, which will be amazing. Now, none of these pieces are screwed down or glued down yet. Um, we're just framing everything out before we make it permanent. So that's what we're up to today. used all the furring strips that we currently have and we were able to do the entire back seat area which is like awesome yep so we haven't like again we haven't put anything down yet uh we just have uh, pre-cut all the measurements and so we um, have it all laid out um, and so yeah we need to go get some more wood to finish off the steps in the front of the driver's seat uh, which is fine because we actually got to let that uh, area dry because yep. we just painted it uh, and so once but it's all, all done. The painting's done. Yeah. Yay! So once that's done, um, we've kind of got the basis of all our furring strips down. And then what we're having to do is go back in and 
basically plan out our layout so we know where to put other furnished strips for when we're adding furniture like the couch, countertops, bed, that we have something yeah. to also screw into. Um, so Extra support areas and stuff. So it's going to be a little more tedious because um, we're going to have to know all the measurements first um, so we have to think like 10 steps ahead. Yeah. So anyways we are super excited though to see all this progress and now we just need to see if we can go pick up some more wood, let the paint dry. So we're going to take care of some personal errands like vehicle registration, taxes and inspection and all that stuff um, while those things dry and then Scotty boy will probably um, just make sure we have our measurements right for our layout, so. Come hither. So we're back. And we're gonna nail some stuff down. Ooh! Okay, so we finished running our errands and we are back ready to keep working. What are we gonna be doing? We are gonna start gluing and screwing down the furring strips on the floor. That is so legit, you guys. Things are getting permanent. What? What? But first, we gotta clean up all this mess. This mess right here. This mess. This specific mess. Okay, so it's going great. Uh, we're getting uh, the furring strips knocked out. Uh, basically what we're doing is uh, we know uh, putting no more nails on them and then putting several screws in uh, just to make sure that it tightens all the way down to the floor. Um, also that way if any of the wood is bowed in areas it kind of helps straighten it out and, and set it in place. And so, yeah, super excited. Um, it's kind of like once we get this done um, and we're starting to put foam board down and subfloor in, uh, we're really starting to see uh, this thing take shape. Um, was a little apprehensive about screwing these in because we didn't want to put more holes into the floor. Um, but just the way that these things are pulling into the metal, it's so tight um, that I don't think we have to worry about um, any water or anything getting in like that. Um, and so we should be pretty set. So we're going to continue here. We'll probably wrap up shortly because um, it's uh, starting to lose daylight. Um, but yeah, we're excited. Once this part's done, it's like, hey, we're legit building now, uh, you know? That's cool. Wow. I'm so yeah. happy for you. <laughs> Thanks so Thanks much. Yeah, if you want to follow us, we're the Hive Drive bus. Hive Drive bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. I'll yeah. follow you right now. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Oh, have yeah, yeah, have a good one. Bye. So that wraps up this week's episode of putting down our furring strips for the subfloor in. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of our videos come out. But we're here every Sunday morning for you guys. Um, and next week, we are taking on van life. So make sure you tune in for that. We are so excited about it. Yeah, we're going to be living in a van. So. Be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> My laugh was so loud. So we'll be back next week. Bye. Oh,